Hello the world, it's me, I'm back. Well, while I'm working on my niece's uh, planner, I'm also working on my son's planner, which was due in March. So uh, <laughs> you can tell that it's a, a project I had to uh, put aside to, <laughs> let's give, uh, give uh, priority to uh, my nieces and, uh, and my mothers and my sisters. And uh, finally, um, <laughs> I might finish Nathan's pretty soon. Uh, I'm working on it at the moment. I had so many problems with the pages of my planner because I, as I told you, I forgot to save them on the USB drive um, and uh, I lost uh, everything that was in my computer at the moment. Um, well, not at the moment, but at that moment in summer and uh, had to do it all again, uh, all over again. And uh, well, I must have missed something because when I printed my pages, there was, well, there was something really bad with with them. I, I don't know what I, I, I don't know what I did, but so probably <laughs> a mistake because the, the, um, my, the computer is always right. So if there is something wrong, it's, <laughs> it's my fault, but I had to do, do it all over again. And oh my, what a terrible, terrible, terrible time I had with these pages. Well, they're finished. Uh, they'll soon be finished for my uh, nieces too. Um, but for my sons, they're finished. And uh, I've finished the covers too. So here's the, fir the back cover. Okay, I used a paper that I found um, at Action. Action. Okay, so it's the equivalent of uh, Target uh in france in europe let's say and uh, i use this paper that i love very much and uh faux leather okay gray faux leather that i distressed on all edges with ar archival ink um i used to make of course to make this i used a my usual favorite uh of all times uh full-size journal okay and uh, I only kept the, the covers. I didn't keep the spine this time because I, I'm gonna wire bind, bind this one. So this is the one I used, okay? And it's Eileen House. Where's the bloody, ah, oh, label, here it is. Uh, sorry, it's the Cezex 665589 full size journal, okay? And uh, it says a uh, journal format A4. Yes, the die is A4, okay? But the journal itself, when you cut it, it's an A5, okay? And, well, it's one of my favorites, I tell you. I, there's so many possibilities with this one. So I use this, cut the covers, okay? Use the, <laughs> you can see all my, all my uh, cardboard over there. Well, use this. Um, this so made the uh, front uh, the back cover with an Amazon envelope I uh, that I upcycled I cut a pocket that I doubled with uh, still from the same still from the same pack okay paper pad uh, I took this okay that I love very much and um, I've um, made the the front pocket with still the same paper collection but this was um solid okay you had this printed but this was solid and i wanted more of this uh, film uh, stuff and i used a a stamp i bought from darkroom door well a long time ago and I never used because I wanted to use it once I had found this <laughs> and I found it. Yes, Tim Holtz alterations with Sizzix and it's a very old one, it's retired, but I've, I looked for it on the internet on Le Bon Coin, which is in a second hand store online, let's say, and I finally found it. And I'm so, so happy about it. So I printed all these films imprints okay with this with uh, the darkroom door film strip stamp and and i'm gonna use this 
Okay, I'm gonna use this to make some decoration so they are ready. Okay, die cut. I'm I'm keeping them like this so that I don't lose them, the little squares or the little rectangles left. Okay, because I might use them. Um, so this is what I did. Now it isn't over yet. I've oh so many ideas, so little times. Uh, so this is a pocket that I cut from a a page. Okay. Uh, for uh, pictures and I just cut one pocket I'm gonna use it in the journal so this is the this is the a an a5 uh, uh, insert that I'm gonna plastic insert that I'm gonna put in the journal um, this is not over because I'm going to okay I used um, Tim Holtz big die okay number 665371 and I I made this little TV set and in it as my son is is a huge fan of Spider-Man and um, Superman for this one I chose uh, a Spider-Man I used so the the I made a screen I, I couldn't find at the time I couldn't find the you know the the um, the Sizzix stuff here since then I found them <laughs> I rummaged the internet and I found them uh, so at the time I didn't have them so I just use so this is great because this is this is a shaker dome and it's 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 made for this purpose okay it's it's what it's used for but I didn't have it at the time so I just made the I just made the little thing here I'm gonna try to take this from the pocket without making a mess showing the okay so here we are okay and um, so I made spider-man and here I just you know uh, puts a piece of acetate so it's, uh, it gives an, uh, the idea of the screen but I would have rather have the the other one but now it's too late okay if I tear this apart it's gonna be a, a mess so I'm leaving it like this and here too okay I used uh, the little travel tiny globe uh, travel I guess um, by Sizzix and, and, and Tim Olds and oh my I love this I love the result okay here this is a uh, Sizzix um, surfaces I guess Oh, there is something wrong here. Oh no, that's the reflection. I thought there was something wrong with my stuff. And here I doubled it. So I don't know if I'm going to. The idea I've got is to put it right in the in the middle, okay, of my uh, of my uh, front cover. And I probably add these, which which are not, um, you know, doubled, and it will be free to add anything he wants in the TV frames. So. Well, this is uh, the idea I've got. It's not over yet, but I guess it will be the definitive um, idea. Uh, and, uh, well, I'm going to try not to show his name, but I'm not sure I'm going to succeed. Okay, he's going to work in a design school. He's going to, not to work, but to study in a design school. And, uh, well, well, this is the, the planner I made for it. Um, I still have many ideas that I haven't... Uh, uh, really uh, achieved yet but I'm going to use this that I print since this is not for sale okay it's just for my my son I'm gonna use this um, probably use this uh, uh, be, uh, comics um, page that I found on the internet I printed it uh, black and white and I will probably um, copy it with my laser laser uh, printer so that he'll be able to colorize the the stuff if he wants to so I'm gonna do it right now and uh, then I'm I'll uh, go on with my uh, niece uh, project which is almost finished so I guess I'll finish um, both projects this weekend well see you for the result of uh, this experiment which has been very very challenging and to tell you what um, I wish I could uh, craft more often because when you craft on a regular basis um, all your stuff are ready okay you know where you've put things and so on and so forth when you have to stop every two days because well life 
uh, it's terrible. So, well, I see if I can, you know, try to uh, craft more and more regularly. So, anyway, see you soon for the next episode and take care, my friends. Hello, everyone. I'm back. Well, we are, let's say, four, three, three, four days later and uh, everything is... Uh, well, quite finished, I guess, uh, as far as my son's project is uh, um, concerned. I used uh, the uh, the numbers, okay, included in this set again. Okay, so to write, this is a planner. So, indeed, we have the school year 2020. And, uh, well, I love the cover quite a lot. Inside, here we are, that's what we've got. Here I doubled the cover with uh, PVC, uh, crystal PVC, so that it uh, protects the cover. And then we have inside, that's what we have. Okay, so that here I don't know what I'm, I'm probably going to put another pocket, but a, a, a plastic one, not a, not a carbon one, but a plastic one, so that you can put, you know, documents in it. Uh, so this is the inside of the back cover. So here we have a, a, a big pocket. Okay, the one I uh, built with an Amazon envelope, and I let it. You can see I let it solid inside. Okay, didn't uh, double it uh, because it would have been too thick, and that I didn't want. And here I had it. Oops, another pa pocket. Okay, plastic one. And you can slide documents, little documents in here, in this pocket. Okay. Um, and this is the back of my cover. And I'm going to, okay, the closure is going to work like this. I'm going to use my little, okay, it's elastic. It's an elastic ribbon. And uh, um, it's very thick. Okay. I'm going to cut it here. And um, this will be my closure. So here we are. All my inserts are ready. And now I've got to... Uh, <laughs> I've got to uh, go on with the step, the stage, the face, whatever you call it, that I fear most, that is to say, the cinching. And oh my, I always dread um, this stage because... Well, if I make a mistake while, you know, uh, uh, punching the holes here, it's going to be a mess. So wish me luck and uh, I'll, see, uh, I'll see you in a few minutes for the final result. Hello, I'm back. Just a quick tip uh, I have to share with you. Uh, when I'm, uh, you know punching with my uh, cinch um, I found this on Amazon and this is brilliant uh, to position on your on your makes before punching these are sticky notes okay but this is not paper this is some kind of Yupo paper and it's translucent so that you can see exactly what you're doing. So when you have to center your pages, and I often work with uh, pages I have to center, okay, you see exactly where you are supposed to punch. So this is a precious tool. I wish I had full stuff. I might use some Yupo, Yupo sheets I have uh, in order to make, uh, you know, templates because, well, when I work with the full-size journal, it's always the same dimensions. Okay, it might vary uh, one millimeter but it doesn't really matter and um, and uh, I think I might do this with bigger one but this this is a game changer so if you can find them on Amazon these are sticky notes okay same, same as post-it but they're translucent and they're plastic so if you make a mistake also you can just you know take your eraser or a little bit of water and uh, you get rid of it and it's this is brilliant okay See you. Hello, I'm back. So 
This one is finished. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Look. So that's his name here done at the bottom. And uh, here it is. And that's the back cover. Here I'm just going to give a little, you know, a cutter. I, I'm going to, you know, cut here a little hole so that I can push my button. And I'll burn the edges so that it won't, you know, fall apart. Uh, tear apart um soon and here we are so this is it oh how do you like it i do love it look inside so that's inside there we are first one so his name i don't want to show you and uh so it starts here all the pages and um here's some uh you know pocket notebook i made the pages myself i designed the the squares here and uh, here we have a uh, mixed media paper so he can draw or whenever he wants to and here two pages with pockets so here once again he, he can colorize this if he wants to because I printed it with the laser my laser um, printer so he can you know if you want to watercolor it is it, free to do so and uh, here is the here are the two pockets I put here, so they can put anything he wants in it. And here too, and the back cover. Oh, here we are, and the back cover. I've seen on the internet someone, you know, putting ribbons or elastics here or, or threads just to keep the pages from falling apart. And I might very well do that. I'm not sure I'm going to do it, but. It was a, quite a good tip, so I might do it to protect it. So here we are. Many, many things uh, I've done for this uh, journal, and it took me so, so long to finish it. And I hope you like it, of course, because this is what I, you know, this is what I, why I made, I made it. So it would be happy, I guess it should be. And uh, I'm gonna take so, a few pictures so I remember this um this journal and uh well i post it on instagram as soon as i give it to him so bye bye and see you next for my niece's project that i should finish tomorrow bye and see you